so um the black and technologies foundation actually got the the hoodie on right here this is the raleigh durham hoodie um but the black and technologies foundation is the largest black community for tech professionals um we're global right so we have 74 chapters in 19 countries I'm gonna say that again. I'm gonna say that again. We have 74 chapters in 19 countries. So what that means is, if you're th just thinking about the United States, wherever you know you're watching or listening to this right now, th there's a very high probability and chance that there is a Black and Technologies chapter in your city, in your town, or or at least within a a, a 10 to 15 mile radius. Wow. So that's 74 chapters in 19 countries most of them are in the u.s so basically it's the largest black tech community of its kind and basically you know the the mantra the mission is to stomp the divide in the tech industry between opportunities in tech and black people in tech wow. right so we do that a number of different ways uh we have we provide career resources Okay. Um, you know that that can be in the sense of or in the in the in the frame of you know job fairs. We have a job board on our website. Um, we you know partnering with other co companies um, who want diverse talent. Um, we also do networking in every chapter. I mean, every city that I just mentioned those 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 that, you know those seventy four chapters. Um, globally, they put on that. It's a sense of community and belonging. And those are different pockets of affirmation for black people in tech or black people who are aspiring to get in tech to belong to. So they like even in our chapter, you know, I'm the I'm the president of the um, the chapter in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. We put on events, meetups, things of that nature where people have a sense of belonging. So you get that right. Um, but also what you get as well is the, is the community aspect. Right. Um, not only are we looking to. Um, you know, bridge that gap and and definitely open those avenues wider and those pathways wider for people to get opportunities um, in careers in tech. We also, and a lot of people don't know this, and then I think this is what separates us from a lot of other organizations. Mm -hmm. We're looking to bridge that gap as well between act between our people in our in the community mm -hmm. and also and also available technology. Mm. Right. So um, we have a actually an organization here in the Raleigh Durham area that we partner with where we um, help them get gather um, laptop donations. Wow. Because, yeah. So we're trying to make sure that uh, uh, underrepresented communities have access to technology. Right. So that's that aspect as well. Um, we oh, yeah. So we, we, we do a lot. So when we talk about networking, we're talking about um, organizations that you can be a part of. Um, this is the Black and Technologies Foundation. Uh, we have a number of different things, man. We have scholarships. Uh, wow. we, we also have an accelerator program for um, Black entrepreneurs and minority entrepreneurs um, to look and accelerate their small business. So we have that as well. Um, we also have, like, and, and this is a thing too, we also have our own conference. Come on, man. Yes, we have our own conference. It's called BitCon. Okay. So last year, BitCon 2022 was in Orlando, Florida. We took so, over Walt Disney World. We took it uh, over. So we had keynote speakers. Um, I think um, Anthony Mays um, actually spoke one year at BitCon. Okay. For those those folks in the software development realm and tech, they know who he is. He's he's a he's a trailblazer, pioneer, icon uh, in black tech. Um, he came and spoke spoke at BitCon one year. Um, so we have like keynote speakers come in. We have uh, companies, big tech companies, mid-sized companies, non-tech companies that come in and basically set up shop and recruit people and have you know job interviews there on site. Mm. Uh, we have parties, mixers, different events that go on during a conference, mm. right? So it's it's like, it, you know, so basically it's you know if you, you everybody's heard of Afrotech. Afrotech is amazing. Love Afrotech. I'm trying to go this year. You know, there's uh, Grace Hopper, who, that's the um, the um, women's tech conference. Mm. Um, there's Render ATL down in Atlanta, Georgia. Love all those conferences. But BitCon 2023 should be on your list as well. Go to all of those, but make sure you go to BitCon 
2023. It's going to be in Nashville, Tennessee this year. Okay. And uh, it's going to be from September 5th to September 7th. And I think early bird tickets are on sale now. So um, that's a, a summary of, of Black and Technologies Foundation as a whole.